AV Alive here with another informative product video today talking about the Blackmagic ATM TV Studio in a live streaming environment. I gotta say, I get a lot of questions about the ATM TV Studio and how it does and does not work in a streaming environment. But the first thing to know is that there currently is only one direct plugin supporting the ATM TV Studio, and that is the live stream plugin that you download from Livestream. The Livestream plugin is available for free and can talk to your Livestream channel both on the new Livestream as well as a separate plugin for the current existing Livestream subscribing uh, customers that are out there. Livestream talks directly to the program out on the ATM uh, TV studio via the H.264 encoding process. It would be awful nice to see some other uh, vendors come up and give us some encoding options with that H.264 since it's able to use the program out so easily in the live stream environment. The other thing you may need is how you handle audio, and we've discussed that in a previous video. Uh, to merge audio, we use the Behringer SRC2496. Be sure to see the video that further uh, describes that. And the other thing that we talk about as well is embedding audio via SDI or HDMI. Again, we deal with that in a separate video that you can see here on our YouTube channel. But let's talk about how we might integrate the HDMI or SDI out of the ATM TV Studio. As we talked about in existing video, you have six simultaneous sources in the ATM TV Studio. They can be a combination of four HDMI or four SDI, and the balance being either two SDI with four HDMI or two HDMI using four SDI. Confusing? Not really. Basically, you just can max out at four of either and then use the other two as your subsequent inputs. Basically, once you have that into your switcher and your switcher interface, you're able to take your program out, which both comes out in either HDMI or SDI, and take it to your favorite encoding source. A couple ways you can encode is using a uh, well-built Mac Mini or MacBook with at least 16 gigs of RAM and an i7 chipset, or a standalone encoder, much like our Teradek, Vidu, or live streaming broadcaster that takes your HDMI out of your ATM TV studio and encodes it directly to your favorite CDN provider. Couldn't be simpler. The other thing you would need is two Ethernet ports if you're going to use a MacBook or Mac Mini. One Ethernet port, of course, will connect directly to the ATM. The second will be your upload to your favorite CDN. So how you can accomplish that is using a Thunderbolt adapter or using the Belkin Thunderbolt hub to give you an extra Ethernet port. This will be important because you'll need at least one extra Thunderbolt port in order to put your encoder on your ATM TV studio. Don't be confused, we have a video that talks about the encoders, but your choices are real simple. For under $140, you can have the Blackmagic uh, Thunderbolt uh, encoder, or you can have the intensity for more money, but basically for $140, it gives you an SDI or HDMI in that talks directly to the Adobe Flash Media Protocol that allows you to get directly to your favorite internet streaming CDN. Couldn't be simpler. So again, using the ATM TV Studio in a live production environment, the things you need to know are your CPU or your standalone encoder, two Ethernet ports, and of course an SDI or HDMI input along with the Adobe Flash Media software or the third party a direct download software from either Livestream or Ustream. That's it. That's all it takes to stream live to the internet. Of course, we can help you with all that if you give us a call. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll go into more detail about the individual uh, streaming providers and the how-tos in the software setup at a further date. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content.